Hi, Sebastio. Hi, Tim, Sarah, and the girls. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, Anita, Riley, Steve, Anna, Tyron, Jenny, Wolfgang, Tarek, and the Bears. Barry, Mariam, Sharon. Hi, lovelies. Nice to see you all. Thank you very much for joining me in the final tour. Do -do -do -do. Hi, Sarah. Nice to see you guys. How are you? A couple of seconds until we get started. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Lauren. Well, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna say hello everybody. Welcome to my final tour. You guys are early, so you get the, the intro spiel. Hello Gregory, you made it on the dot. Hi Sarah, nice to see you. Hello and welcome. My name is Kendall James. I'm sure lots of you know me already. So please look out for me as Miss Kendall James on most kinds of social media, especially go to linktr.ee forward slash Miss Kendall James and see what I've got on Etsy and YouTube and things like that. Or follow my entire journey in a beautiful picture record on Instagram. I'd be delighted if you would uh, join in with some of the comments and things there. So it is 8 p.m. in Japan. I'm in Tokyo, the big city. This girl has gone out, out from Shiga, where I normally live. And I'm really excited to show you around Shinjuku area. This is where I get the bus. But we're gonna go for a little walk away and around um, to see some interesting shops and then we're gonna come back around. There are so many things to see here. Um, I'm hopefully basically just gonna get you glimpses of things that are reflected in the streets because it's been raining. Uh, I've got my umbrella here with me. Uh, there's a little bit of drizzle in the air and I'm gonna show you some nice things that are around. Hi, Laurie and Hannah, nice to see you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Hi, Julie and uh, Dena or Dina, let me know. And hi, Sarah, nice to see you. So right now we are at the Shinjuku Times Square. Um, as I think you'll agree, it's quite a beautiful shot, isn't it? Takashimaya Times Square. The sky looks menacingly gray. It's a kind of grayish purple, actually, if you're actually, if you're actually here. I'm going to post a great picture of that later on my, um, on my channel because we know that Hago is wonderful, but it cuts the quality a little bit just to help us uh, enjoy it to the, to the fullest while, um, uh, while we're streaming live, right? The trains are running all around us, which is pretty exciting if you like trains and things. Lovely little penguin over here. Looks a little bit like Pingu in its, uh, in its nature, uh, but it's very, very cute. Let me see, Suica, it's the Suica penguin. Uh, Suica is a version of a travel card here in, in Japan. You can get the Pasmo, which Eriko had in, in Tokyo. I've got the Ikoka, which means let's go. And this is a Suica travel card. You can travel like a penguin. What do you think, guys? You like it? Hit me up with some interactions so I know you're there and you're living in well. I'm gonna get a little portrait shot here. Three, two, one. Thanks, Julie, for your little love heart. Cute, huh? Three, two, one. Penguin is cute, right? Now I'm gonna to go to take you to see shops that have names, that signs and names that you'll, you just never believe will existed. So sorry in advance. It does look like it's running away for some, something, but if you please imagine, it's, um, how do I say it? It's not running away from something, it's going somewhere. If that makes sense. It's, it's off to do its daily job. Shopping to do, lots of shopping to do. Exactly, trying to catch the bus, trying to catch the train. Hi Sheila, hi Amy, nice to see you guys. Hello Carol, lovely, nice to see you. So we say bye bye to Times Square. We've got a little lovely reflections on the ground, but I'm looking forward to taking you out to the big shops and things just around the corner. It's all big lights in Tokyo here. Someone is doing laps backwards and forwards as if they've lost something, but they're, they're just doing, going backwards and forwards. So I'm not sure if they have lost anything, basically. Right, we're going to walk through this boring bit, which is underneath the main expressway bus station. But later I have to walk to an interesting area. Um, so those of you that were on time, I hope you enjoyed that little penguin, penguin starter. 
no penguins were eaten during that starter process. And we're gonna go over here to we're gonna go over here to an egg slut. And you're gonna have you're gonna learn what that is in a second. Oh, it's gonna shock you. <laughs> Maybe you can imagine what it is, I don't know. Well we'll go see. We've got a new woman and then an egg slut is coming. Hi Anna, hi Graham, hi Richard. Just missed the penguin starter of Times Square, but we're off to see the, the big lights of the city. There are lots of big cafes and shops and things here. And welcome guys, welcome to the final, the final tour of the series. Have you enjoyed yourself? Of all my Yokohama and, um, is it Yokohama? That's the one. Yeah, Yokohama and um, Tokyo tours. What has been your favorite one? What one stood out to you and why? Why did you like it the best? Now, over here for a, a little rainbow and then egg slot action. Let's get in. Cherry blossoms. Which terry, cherry blossoms one did you like the most, Tyron? I did some understated ones and then some with Erico, which did you like the best? Oh, lovely. Reminds me of your trip to Tokyo in 2017. Yep, I've been working hard for Hago um, from Tuesday to Friday, but right from Tuesday morning at 8 a.m. until 9 p.m. on Friday night. Super hard. The one with Erico, nice. Do you mean of all of, do you mean the one I did? The one that was hosted by me? Otherwise I'm gonna think that of all of my 21 tours, two of which were on Erica, your favorite was the one that Erica did. <laughs> what do you think, how's that? Get this out of context and share it online. There's your egg slut. Apparently the egg slut is Luke's. The one I did, Tyron, or the one that Erica did? I'm curious. Laurie liked all of them. You're a very biased sponsor, lovely Laurie. <laughs> Thank you, Tyron. Phew. Um, Sharon only really caught Chinatown on Tuesday in Harajuku today and really loved Chinatown. Lovely. Yeah, Chinatown was something else. I've uploaded two tours. Oh, sorry about that, guys. I've uploaded two tours to YouTube, so you can check those out. I'm just going to get my brolly up. I have to do it by, I have to do it with two hands. So excuse me a second. You're going to get a little view. Ooh. Let's go and cross this big major road over here. It's a big train station, big double JR, JR Japan Rail. We've got a busker in the background, but I'm going to take you over the road. We're going to join the scramble of everybody. Jennifer hasn't been able to join anything because of the time difference, but thanks me always for adding, uploading to YouTube. Don't thank me, thank my sponsors. It is on behalf of my sponsors um, that all of those get uploaded there because they give me the money I need to afford the time. So thank them. They've been lovely. We're just trying to get across the road, but cars have stopped right in the zebra crossing bit. <laughs> Someone in a sports car has done it, of course. <laughs> I was about to say a rude word. I was going to say water, K-N-O-B. <laughs> That's a very British, British version of a swear word. <laughs> yeah, the crossings all make noises, but actually the crossings make noises uh, so that um, people who have hearing, it, uh, sorry, not hearing impairments, that would be ridiculous. People who have sight impairments can get across the road a little bit more easily because they can hear where they're going. Good morning, Ken, or good middle of the night, Ken. You missed some glorious things like penguins, Times Square, and an egg slut, but it's okay. You also missed the KNOB in the middle of the road, but it's all right. We're going to move on from that. We're going to go to these big lights over this direction. Hi V. Lauren says, I love the bird noises of the crossing lights. Uh, of course, Gregory. Gregory says, I'm referring to the gear stick control, evidently. I'm glad you could join in too, especially for the final one. This is the finale. It's amazing. I'm, I'm shocked to say it, but 
of my 19 tours, I made more on that one with Erico than I did, I did on all of the others. So I'm pretty embarrassed, pretty embarrassed at my solo performance, but still, can't have everything, can we? Oh, lovely. Barry's got a very specific favorite thing. Um, Barry likes the, likes the turtles um, in the lake in Chinatown, which is a, a good favorite thing. I like that. Nice. So we're going to go down here into the thick of the Shinjuku uh, like shops and things that are up close to each other. I'm hoping we get some juicy power cable action in there as well. You know me. Some interesting crossings and lots of lights. Lots of lights. Now, there are so many parts to, to disappear into, but in one hour, I've got to get my bus and I've got to dash to that. So I'm just going to walk you around for another 30 minutes, see what we see. Oh, interesting. Let me just try to enter my YouTube profile from the, from the link on Hago. I did edit that link, so it should be fine. But if it's not working, I understand, and I'll give it a little review later. But there are lots of lovely people in the chat who are very likely to pop a little link here for you. But I miss Kendall James on everything. If you go to linktr.ee forward slash Miss Kendall James, you should easily get to it. And hopefully that one will work for you. I love like the yellow and blue and red of all of these areas around here. Of course, all of the classic anime is being advertised here here in lovely Shinjuku. And look, even your own little anime. Advertising tea, of course. Thank you, Lori. That's so kind of you. Should I say Lori or Lori or Lori? Like, like a British truck, right? A Lori. That blows people's minds when I'm like, yeah, it's a Lori. <laughs> Hi Sophie, welcome. Welcome to Welcome to Shinjuku. We you can see the pachinko and the, see all kinds of wonderful things. I, I really like seeing everyone's umbrellas. Yeah, the Godzilla is around here, but I'm just gonna go route by route and see what I stumble across. Um, if I get a hint of the Godzilla being around, um, because I I've been in this area quite a lot, so I'll, if I get a hint of it, I'll walk in that direction. But I've got to be a bit careful with my time so I can still get my bus back. My night bus will take eight hours and then I have to wait about 45 minutes until the first trains are going so I can get my train back to my home to get another two or three hours sleep. How am I going to go to work for eight hours? Because of what am I? Hardcore. I'm a hardcore. Oh, that's all right, Lauren. It's approximately in this direction. I just don't know how many, how many kinds of steppy steps it would be. Has anyone noticed a fatal error that I'm doing? I'm walking on the right side. We need to be on the left. The left is the safe walking zone. But I want to get a fur further away enough zone, a far away enough zone, what is my English today? So that I can at least show you guys uh, what's going on from the other side of the street. <laughs> Lauren, why do you say crazy? Just the general vibe, general vibe. Look, there's corn, cornbread and crab cakes up there for any Americans that have dared to wake up in the middle of the night to watch this. So many hours on the bus. Yeah, eight hours and five minutes. And all I can hope for is that the seat is comfy enough so that my little bottom, which is actually a big bottom, doesn't hurt. <laughs> because on the way up, it really did hurt. But on the way up, I only had six hours on the bus, which really wasn't long enough to start doing eight tours in Yokohama. I think you will agree. Crazy also represents Miss Kimball in the most affectionate of ways. I'll take it. I'll take it happily. With affection, I shall gladly receive such compliments. Um, sleep. Yes, I sleep on it. We can recline. Uh, basically, I was going to book a uh, Shinkansen bullet train, but I didn't because it's super expensive. And I was thinking of doing it because it was almost the same price as the night bus. But what I did is briefly check the night bus, three, two, one, briefly check the night bus as I arrived in Tokyo, just to see if anyone had cancelled their tickets for returning. And I managed to get a ticket for about half the price of the, um, half the price of the other one, three, two, one, half the price of the bullet train. 
<laughs> Hardcore was not the word I was going to come up with either. Oh, I get it. Crazy was in response to that. Look at these panda bickies. Panda biscuits. Oh my goodness. Someone get me a postcard, please. Thank you. Look at this sultry hand advertisement. One second, it's gone. I can't show you that. Probably for the best. Look, my dream has come true. The lights are reflecting on the water below, on the water, on the rain below. What? On the ground. The lights are reflecting in the water on the ground below. Panda balm. Yeah, balm kuhan. So yummy. So buttery. So good. We've got a massive lush over here. The first time I came to Tokyo, um, three years, what was that on the screen just then? I'm so sorry you had to see that. I think it was just an arm, but I don't know. <laughs> I got my rain after all. We did have rain in the last tours. It just wasn't active. This one's a little splattery, so I'm, I'm under my umbrella. Gosh, what was that? That was shocking. Um, I went to this Lush three years ago when I first came here, and I loved it. I couldn't believe it. It's four or five floors of a Lush. Absolutely glorious. And there are record players and little um, sit, uh, chairs for you to sit in and all kinds of things. It was so glorious. I love, love, loved it. What do you think? Are you getting a big city fix for those of you that might not live in a big city? I hope so. So many TVs everywhere. I'm kind of embarrassed at how much um, electricity is used. In fact, I'm very embarrassed. I just think it's unnecessary. Humans are a bit indulgent, I think. A bit indulgent. Okay, this is one of the best bits around here. We got some good stuff coming up, guys. Yeah, this is my favorite area. We got the big kitty cat over here and a golden lion, because why not? Look at this. You're getting your heavy hit of um, Shinjuku over here. You're getting Blade Runner. Yep, it's giving Blade Runner. Oh, sorry. A little shake. This is the bit I wanted you to see the most. Not that. That's nothing. I'll get over there again in a moment. Just obviously trying to manage the umbrella as well. The sign in front of it looks incredible. And here's your golden lion. So tell me if any of you guys know this phrase, okay? I'm pretty sure you might know especially the Brits. First, the worst. Second, the best. Third, the one with the hairy chest. What about fourth, the gold and the eagle? Have you heard that? You've heard that, right? Fourth, the golden eagle. My friend in Portsmouth, she's like, and fourth, the golden eagle. And I'm like, what, girl? What are you saying? It's true. Look it up. First, the worst. Second, the best. Third, the one with the hairy chest. And fourth, the golden eagle. Look it up, my friends. Look, cherry blossoms. And a sign that just rightly reads, epic. Well, that's exactly why she made up Golden Eagle for it. But honestly, it's online. It's the, re it's the real deal, guys. If you sense me zooming or see me zooming, it's with my nose. Look at that puppy dog up there. Thank you so much, Kyron, for my finale tip. I really, really appreciate it, especially here on that last one. Thank you. There are so many cute anime things happening right now. I've wanted to do a tour here for so long, so I'm really glad I can bring you here. It's kind of just a fascination tour. Um, postcards galore, you know? Oh, this isn't the Times Square bit. The Times Square bit is where I started. Did you see that, where we started way back then? I'll be heading back there after, so you can join me, I expect. Shame I can't get a... One second. I'm making a video of my journey, and I can't get a little video of this. Bear with me, I think I can. I think I can. What can I do? Kind of reach in my bag. Oh my gosh, there's so many cute puppies around. 
One minute. Stamina. Okay, I got something. I got something. I want to go to New York sometime. It looks wonderful. Right, bear with me just one minute. I'm doing. <gasps> wow, look at that dragon. Look at that. That's epic. That's Monster Hunter. Awesome. Got it. Mission complete. And the kitty cat is here. It's going new, 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 new. And now it has a hat on. Why on earth not? It says Metropolitan Police Department below. Come with me. I know a place. It says tempting offers are dangerous. Tempting offers are dangerous, guys. Go careful. Hi, Ginny. So that was a Metropolitan Police cat saying, be careful. Okay, we'll just watch this for a couple more seconds and I'll walk you around somewhere different. I think I might walk you right underneath it. Hi, Leah. Nice to see you. Yeah, cute kind of co cat. I like that Metro Golden My and Myers thing over there, the puppy dog. This is my nose again doing the business. Oh, it's gone. Kuan Riku. It's coming in. Oh, 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 kitty cat's back. Okay, let's cross the road. No? Yes? Okay. You're watching with your mum. Hi, Ginny's mum. Hi, Jenny's mom. That's what it looks like when I go at the screen with my nose. I've, um, I'm using my other hand for my umbrella, of course. So I have to use my nose. <laughs> it's magical, isn't it? Very convincing. Thank you, Anna. You're so kind to have tipped in each of the tours this evening. I love this one. How cool is that? Guys, it's the future. People are like, quick, take a picture. Quick, take a picture. Oh. Yeah, shame I no longer have anybody for the extra hands. It's tough. It's definitely cat themed up there, isn't it? A lot of kitty cat themes. Can we cross the road yet? My goodness, it's taking a long time. Okay, three, two, one. I'm gonna get you a long shot. Look at that, magical. Three, two, one. The cat's saying, nim, 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 nim. Let's go, it's my show. It's a rush. Right, I love this red sign that we're coming up to right in front of it. So try and get your pictures. I'll try and get the umbrellas out of the way. Here you go. Cool, huh? And a pet shop, animated pet shop. It looks like Nintendogs. Who remembers that? There's some um, live music over here, so we'll go to that and we're going to loop around back to where my locker is. Ooh. We'll do road crossing again. This is the road crossy, road crossy tour. The umbrellas are magical, aren't they? Which is why when we did Harajuku the second time, I was sad there wasn't umbrellas because they look so good. And look, we've got my dream. It's the, the reflections on the ground. It's perfect. Yeah, I love the umbrellas. You know what, when I make my YouTube video, I don't usually do this, but I think what I'll have to do is cut part of this video and put it in the YouTube video. Down here we've got an excellent shot. Oh, sorry, get my brolly in it. 
get my nose down there. I love this kind of scene. Yeah, me too. Three, two, one. It's a little bit zoomed in. Of course, I've got my umbrella here, but isn't that magical? I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Zoom out with my nose. Three, two, one. No, I've specifically done tours of Kyoto before that have been in the rain because it rocks. I'm like, guys, it's raining. We have a tour. We have a tour. And it looks exactly like Blade Runner. It's fantastic. We love it. It's cool, isn't it? It's really atmospheric. Really something. Oh, Laurie says, do you have any pets, Kendall? Probably Probably not as busy as much as you have to be gone working. Yeah, it's a it's a shame. I do love pets and I do really want one. I want a doggy. Oh my gosh, get this cup. How good's that? I do really want a doggy. Um, and perhaps when myself and we all live together, we'll get a doggy. And then I'll have Ponk in the Daegu, Daegu too. But um, right now, no, I don't have any pets. In the future. In the future, a doggy would be good. I like a medium doggy, medium blonde doggy. It's a super famous song. That ruined it. That ruined it. It started doing the music without him moving his mouth. <laughs> I mean, maybe there's a person just to the left. I'll, I'll forgive them. Hello, Sue. Welcome to, welcome to Tokyo in the rain. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. The big, the big city jungle. Osaka, Kyoto. They're all lovely in the rain. So nice. I'd really love a picture here because I've got a wide angle lens on my phone, but we can't have everything in this world and we don't need to have everything. It's fine. We can be satisfied with what we've got. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Hope I didn't make you too sick and dizzy with that, but I hope you got some cool postcards out of it too. So we're doing a little loop around and back again. We're going to go on the other side of the road so you get some different views. Back so that I can maybe stop you at Times Square and say goodbye and then do my mad dash to the train station, which is a 10 minutes away, but I have to get my thingies. Um, so yes, thank you very much for your tips. They have been contributing to lockers, subway trains, uh, buses, eating, uh, barely had any alcohol, which is a great shame of mine. I really would have liked a lot of alcohol, but we can't have everything in this world, as I say. But I've had many bottles of water and cups of tea and things, so that's been good. Not actual cups of tea because they cost a fortune in Japan. You can have an actual cup of tea or you can have a bowl of ramen. I know which I'm choosing. I'm making a cup of tea at my cup of, cup of tea myself. Oh, Siren says I normally hate the rain, but I'm learning to appreciate it now. I'm really glad. I really like it. I ask my students if they like it and they say no. And I say, but it smells so good, but it sounds so good, but it makes the flowers grow. And they think I'm high and I'm not. <laughs> I'm kidding. That was comic effect, guys. Hi, Prashant. Hi, Ricky. Nice to see you. Erica told me no more drinking. That was a sad twist, wasn't it? I hadn't even had anything to drink. <laughs> was I trying to drink the honey from the flowers? I think that's what she said. I can't remember. That was funny. I love it in this lush. It smells really yummy. I mean, some people really don't like the smell of a lash, but look at them. Look at the scale of this. 
Uh, Lush is a company from the UK. Well, I mean, some of you probably know that. Um, and it's 20 years old. And whenever I go to a Lush in Japan and they're like, where are you from? I say, I'm from the UK. And they're like, oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you for coming to our humble shop. I'm like, it's, it's okay, mate. I live here. All right, I'm going to get you this crab over here. You've got to have a crab or else where are you in Japan? Hannah can smell it just by looking. She told me no more bars. She's as bad as an unlucky fortune. She's as bad as an unlucky fortune. I won't take that. Look, they can correct your eyeballs with this before and after effect. Right, here you go. Your crab shot. Don't ever say I don't give you anything. Ta-da! Animated seafood life. Just like the diet my dad's on. He sees food and he eats it. The seafood diet. And that is why spelling is important. Hi, Jen. Nice to see you. Welcome to the hustle and bustle of uh, Shinjuku in Tokyo. <laughs> you almost missed it. Sometimes jokes are just too smart, too clever, too funny, and your head will hit the pillow and you'll go, oh, oh, because you'll have understood. Hi, Joan. Nice to see you. How are you? Wow, very bright lights coming over here. Oh, we've got an, there's an Audrey Hepburn um, exhibition coming to Tokyo, coming to Kyoto, I can't remember which one, but they're advertising perfume and things too. The lady lives, she lives on. <gasps> Look over here. How delicious is this scene? Like, it actually is delicious because all of the restaurants are opening up. So it smells pretty fine, if you ask me. Pretty fine. Three, two, one. Money shots for days. Look at this juicy, juicy land. Three, two, one. It's all about the lights now. We can barely see the, um, barely see the cables, power cables, because of the dark. But also, in the big city, around the center, a lot of them are actually underground. So when you go down the little side alleys, you get, you get them all um, poking out. Over here, I think, I think I'm on schedule. Eight minutes till the end of the tour. And uh, 38 minutes until I'm on the bus, or maybe 28 minutes until I'm on the bus. We can do it. Oh, there's a, a bar over here called the Dancing Crab, but it doesn't have a dancing crab. That's misleading, isn't it? So what do you think? Are you a fan? Are you a fan of these kind of um, big city, big city lights kind of tours? I know in the rain, they're almost unbeatable. But what do you like? Do you like Kendall Down, Kendall Down in the city or Kendall in the countryside? Where do you want me? Where do you want me, guys? Obviously, I'm always going to show off Shiga, but what do you like? Pachinko slot, Vegas and Vegas. Ah, oh. um, Sharon says, love it. Not a fan of massive crowds, but I love the scenery and the lights. And I've got to say, when the umbrellas are out and the lights are shining down on them, because Japanese people often have these clear umbrellas, it just adds to it, I think. I love it for that. Okay, we've got to go up a little bit over here. We're going to get ourselves on that escalator, and I'm not going to talk because I don't want to be I don't want to be snooped at. But there are loads of places to go, loads of directions I could go in. I'm going to take a little. You know what? I think I'm. I'm tired of walking, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to take the stairs. Oh, Jennifer says, both. I love the variety you offer. 
Well, if you guys missed the art aquarium, you're not going to want to have missed it. Uh, you can check it out on YouTube. It's available for you to see uncut now. So do check that out. Ooh, I was trying to show behind me, but that absolutely backfired. So pretend I didn't do that. Oh, Graham's both as well. Laurie loves the different umbrellas. Yeah, that reminds me of the jellyfish. Okay. Gosh, it's a lot of walking. So, um... I've walked about 50, wait, 60 kilometers. I've walked 60 kilometers in four days. Maybe more than that. Hello, Adriana. We are in the last five minutes of the tour. I'm gonna to take you over to Times Square here in, uh, here in Shinjuku in Tokyo. My bus trip is eight hours. It's an overnight bus trip. You can take it in the daytime at about um, five or six hours. But for safety, the bus drivers, they do change out. They also have breaks often. Hi, Bahana. Hi, uh, Anne. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, Julianne, right? I planned it. You see the, the tour description. It's called Shinjuku in the rain. So it was all part of the plan. Hi, Wendy. I'm guessing you guys are coming off of a tour that's just finished, but I'm afraid this one is also finishing. This one's got five minutes left. And I'm going to give you a scene, a scene to adore before we go. Uh, Joan, did you miss my answer just now? Joan says, how long is your bus trip now? Eight hours. That is maybe the last time I'll say it. <laughs> Eight hours. It's from 9.10 until 5 a.m., and then I have to wait about 45 minutes until like until the first train from Kyoto to take me to Moriyama. And the train, the bus ticket costs me uh, almost seventy dollars, fifty pounds. Whereas if I got the uh, bullet train, it would cost a little more than double that. There's your egg slot in the distance. I need you caught that. Uh, it's a little bit slippy underfoot, so I'm gonna try not to lightly die. Hi, ML. Hi, Aziz. Oh, thank you so much, Joan. Thank you. Joan says, doing a tip to help you out. That is incredibly appreciative. appreciated. I learned something horrendous yesterday. I can't believe it. I learned that American people say this, this word. I'm going to say it in a minute. Let me try and recall it. American people say acclimated, acclimated. And I'm like, what? You guys say what? Acclimated. We've acclimated to the climate now. We've acclimated. I'm like, what are you guys saying? Oh, acclimatized. <laughs> You've acclimatized. I couldn't believe it. I learned a whole new English word, or at least a totally different pronunciation for it. And uh, it was really funny that my new American friends, they're like, I said, I bet I sound really British to you, don't I? And I said, but people all the time say, are you American? And they're like, no, you're so British. And then, um, and then the younger one said to me, do we sound American? Do we have accents? And I went, yes, of course you do. And basically threw his own accent back at him. It was quite funny. Hi in Islamabad, as is. What's for my safety? Do you mask on the train? Yes, I put a mask on on the train. Joni, darling, thank you so much for the tip. Guys, we are back at Times Square here, just where we started. Doesn't it look magical? I'm going to get you a little shot of the penguin. If you weren't here in the beginning, you're soon going to know what I'm talking about. Hi, lovely Katie. What do you guys think? Hi, Diane. Why has Tarek and the bear said, no? Is it for acclimated? Have you acclimated, acclimated to my tours yet? 
<laughs> Thank you so much, Wendy. You guys are so kind. This is the final in a set of 21 tours that I have been a, a part of. Um, please follow. I don't know if anyone can find this. There's a big old list. Please follow my surprise tour listing um, because I might drop a surprise tour of the Nara deers um, and the blossoms. Thank you. Three, two, one. Sharon says, I've taken so many postcards on this. Hi, Davey. Three, two, one. We're going to be bang on the money in 30 seconds, guys. Thank you so much for having spent this time with me. I hope you had a wonderful 40 minutes. Um, good night, Ginny's mummy, or good day to you. Good day. Um, thank you so much, guys. It's been a blast. I look forward to updating that YouTube of mine when I get the chance. And with any luck, with any luck, I'll also um, present to you uh, a lovely edited uh, video of all the places that I've been. So keep an eye out on my YouTube channel, uh, linktr.ee forward slash Miss Kendall James. I'm looking a bit like Mary Poppins right now. Thank you, everybody. It's been lovely. That's it. That's your 40 minutes. Thank you. <laughs> Tarek and the Bears hate Americanizations. I'm sorry, guys. You're going to have to get acclimated to it. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Ken. Thanks, Richard. Bye. You guys rock. See ya.